Yo, 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 what up, what up? So what is the best way to introduce a cryptocurrency or cryptocurrencies to a large group of people that needs it most? Well, El Salvador did exactly this. They introduced the Chivo wallet, which was basically built out by River Lightning Services, which builds out application platform interfaces on Lightning Network to a large group of people. Now, what this did, and very simply what this did, was give the illusion people were getting $30 of free Bitcoin Core, and these people would download the wallet, but they don't even realize that they, for one, don't even own the money they're getting for free, and they don't even have access to this, um, they don't even have access to this, this platform because a lot of them would go to sign up for the platform and their identity would already be stolen and their their account would already be locked up. So in my personal opinion, all this was was a, a big giant mind fuck from the El Salvadorian government to create the illusion while creating the hype and the FUD around BTC Core Bitcoin on people adopting this cryptocurrency. And if I was in El Salvador and this is how I was introduced cryptocurrency, I would run from the idea of using crypto. You have people that are still waiting on payments to be confirmed that aren't even confirmed on Lightning Network. So basically these people are just, they have no interest in Bitcoin. They have no interest in cryptocurrency because the only user experience they've had has been absolutely horrific. So this was just another attempt by Lightning censorship large corporations to do nothing more than censor cryptocurrency for the world and it's happened on it's happened numerous times already it'll continue to happen and this is just one massive massive cover-up on why cryptocurrency should be for one non-custodial nobody should hold your private keys unlike chivo wallet and nobody's given away nobody's given away cryptocurrency anymore the faucet system died long ago so any of these red flags that come up in the future, you can almost guarantee that there's some type of cryptocurrency censorship by large corporations, that kind of thing. So this is just another failed attempt by censorship to try to spread cryptocurrency in the wrong direction. So, you know, what what is El Salvador doing today? Well, People are still waiting on their payments. They're still waiting on cryptocurrency payments that are sitting in the, I don't know, the $16 million lightning node of Chivo that's owned by the El Salvadorian government. So this is, in my opinion, is just a massive fraud from the government to hinder people from actually using cryptocurrency uh, when they need it most in a government that's suffering from massive inflation, massive corruption. And now the last thing people want to do in El Salvador is get on board to cryptocurrency. Later.